So despite what the computer on the Quinjet says, neither Thor nor the Hulk are the strongest Avenger. It's actually Hercules. Hello everyone and welcome back to Fernando Comics. This video I'm playing is from the very large and reputable channel called CBR, or Comic Book Resources. CBR has been famous for a while, because before YouTube they were famous for being an internet comic book forum, and that's where people could go talk, and debate, and look forward to upcoming comic books, make friends, etc. You guys know what I mean. It was before everyone had their own Discord, which happens to be in my description if you guys want to take a look. <clears throat> You see, people who liked comics and other media like that would gather at these forums like CBR, Comic Vine, or KMC, which if you guys ever attended any of those, drop a comment. I'm interested if we ever actually ran into each other before any of this. And CBR has actually been around since 1995, so it's as old as I am and it's still going. Which is why it baffled me when a couple of months ago I saw this video pop up as a short and I couldn't believe how a company like CBR, that's been around longer than most of its viewers have been alive, could produce this amateurish nonsense. Whoever was in charge of making the video did not read the comics they talked about. Not only that, but I'm fairly certain all they did was Google image search, slap the images on the video, then took a bath with the YouTube short bonus revenue they got. Because that video has almost a million views and it's outright lying to you. Having fought both alongside and against both heroes on a few separate occasions in the comics, this hero straight out of ancient Greek myths is a powerhouse of a fighter. He even once took up the mantle of Thor for at least one issue, having bested Thor previously and gained the right to wield Mjolnir. Okay, so this didn't happen. I don't know how to tell you guys, but this isn't true. You're lying, CBR, and it's embarrassing to me. Hercules didn't pick up the mantle of Thor, whatever that's even supposed to mean. He had an illusion placed on him to resemble Thor's outfit, and another one placed on his adamantine mace to make it resemble Mjolnir. Because at the time, Thor was actually banished from Asgard because he killed his grandpa, and Hercules responded to Baldur's need for help with a situation against the Dark Elves. But you see guys, all of this is available in Incredible Hercules number 132 through 136. It's not a bunch of tie-ins you could easily miss or get confused on. They just didn't read it. He beat a future version of the Hulk, known as the Maestro, to a bloody pulp, showing that not even the not-so-jolly green giant could stand against him. So while Thor and Banner are over there having their little argument about who is stronger, just know that for the real answer, one has to simply look to a different set of gods than the normal. Alright, let's forget the fact that both Hulk and Thor have slapped Hercules around in the past. To bring up an alternate reality Hercules beating up an alt-reality Hulk and then declaring that Herc is the strongest of all... Well, I'll just let you guys tell me what you think of that, actually. It's good to ask for better from the entertainment you watch, guys. And when CBR makes quite a bit of cash while at the same time misguiding a fairly large portion of its fans... Well... That just doesn't sit right with me is all. If you guys actually made it this far to the end of the video and you haven't already, take a quick second headbutt that subscribe button for me please by the way. It just helps my channel pick up momentum is all. But until next time everyone, see ya.